I might get in trouble when I say this, but I believe Reuben's a railer. God told John and I to be together, but here he's hanging out with this railer. Brother John and I were probably in the toughest situation probably ever that brothers were in. Um, maybe not ever, but Brother John uh, was probably best friends with, I mean, best friends with Reuben. You know, that was his guy he looked up to. You know, uh, Brother John took that mantle. When he died, he passed it on to Brother John. That was his decision. That was, that was his decision. So when I first met Brother John, uh, Reuben was, he preached with Reuben all the time. And God told me almost audibly in the prayer room, yes, to preach with John. And I got this big problem with Reuben because I work with retards. I don't know if anybody knows this, but there was a big, huge divide in the street preaching world community where we wouldn't preach with Reuben, right? If you know the history, right? <laughs> So I was telling John, I said, man, I, I believe Ruben's a railer. Ooh, faggot in the room. <laughs> and John was very patient with me. And I was very patient with him because I said, I know you're a man of God. I know you're hearing from the Lord. So I had to trust John that he was hearing from the Lord. That was, you know, because I know he's a praying man. I know God speaks to him. I know he's filled with the Holy Ghost. So I got to trust him. God told John and I to be together, but here he's hanging out with this railer, what I thought to be a railer, right? And I, th I personally think it, it was of God at the time to, for me not to preach with Reuben at the time, because I think God used it to straighten people out. Because I think, I'm not talking about Reuben, I'm just talking about in general, I think the language was too loose. There was just no standard whatsoever. It, to, in my opinion, from what I've seen, it seemed like there was not much of a standard. I might be getting in trouble when I say this. But, <laughs> but I think God is using God, God is using all these situations to ra raise a standard. That there is a standard, like you were saying, and like you were saying. Brother Doug and Brother Joe, there's a standard, you know, we should be using excellent speech. So, but there's a balance too, because we can't control other people. We can't uh, think that we're their Holy Spirit, right? And, and that's where I learned and um, I trusted Brother John. I trusted the Lord in Brother John. And I trusted Brother John that he was seeking the Lord on these things. Because I remember telling Adam, I'm going to go preach with, I'm going to the SOPA conference. I called Adam up and Adam's like, brother, <laughs> I don't know if you remember. <laughs> but I was like, no, I really believe the Lord's leading me to do this. He's like, well, as long as you're seeking the Lord and maybe I'm getting too personal up here, but <laughs> so I'll try not to get in trouble. That was a while ago, but, but it's because we were very cautious and you should be very cautious because by your words, you'll be justified and by your words, you'll be condemned. And, and, and we, I, I, yeah, we have to give Pete, go ahead, brother John, what was you going to say? So we were giving each other the benefit of the doubt and, and other brothers, the benefit of the doubt and hoping and enduring all things. And through that situation, I mean, I, I mean, Reuben came into town and I said, no, I'm not, I'm not going to preach. I'm not going to preach with him because I believe the, I can't do it with a clear conscience. I can't do it in faith. And I believe that at this time, the Lord's telling me no. And brother John, that hurt brother John. I don't know if you remember that, but, but that broke my heart. So this, this was very painful.
you know, that we had this. So, <laughs> sorry, getting emotional, but no, it's real pain. I mean, John was in tears. I remember at Crackle Barrel. Because he's like, brother, that's my brother, you know, and you're rejecting him. And I was like, I know, but I don't believe that God wanted me to do it. So anyways, we had to get through all that. You know how much I sacrificed? And then, and then God told me to go to SOPA, where Reuben was going to be. And I talk to Adam because he's my brother. I look up to Adam. And God said, go to Sopa. And, and I met Reuben and the Holy Spirit bared witness that he was a brother. Resurrection. Resurrection. I have exercised the demons. This house is clear. It was a resurrection. Hallelujah. But like I said, I believe through all that, God was correcting the body even. Maybe from, from maybe things that were out of bounds, maybe. I mean, maybe it wasn't out of bounds, but maybe he was just perfecting it because God really straightened things out. Now he's a philosophizer. You know, with with things that were out of bounds and with words that were probably inappropriate. You'd like that, faggot. And, and we're, we're, we're trying to follow the Lord in where to draw those lines. And, you know, so, but yeah, I hope, I hope that was clear. Was there anything else? Uh, everything that guy just says, bull.